Hey ladies, Deborah Kagan here, your sensual lifestyle specialist, helping women like you rock their mojo in order to be more confident, self-assured, comfortable in their skin, and living a turned on life. Now, I travel a lot. I mean, not as much as like the 100,000 mile club, but enough. And here's the thing about traveling. You get out of your day-to-day -day routines. You don't have the usual things surrounding you, including the people you spend time with and definitely the food that you regularly eat. So traveling also means seeing new people, having new experiences, and dealing with new challenges. So today, I'm here to talk to you about maintaining your mojo on the road. And to best illustrate this, I wanna share a story with you about a memorable trip I took not too long ago. So I traveled to Salt Lake City for a three-day conference. Plane ride, easy. Trip to the conference hotel, easy. People I encountered so far, easy. I mean, everyone seemed really nice so far, so good. And then I get to the hotel room and it feels like a bit off. You know, it's your typical Marriott, nothing out of the ordinary, yet I know that there is something that's just not right. And then I part the curtains, and there it is, the offness that I sensed. Now the room butted up against this neighboring building, like right there, and there was a big old pile of construction. Now, I knew that that would translate into really crappy sleep, feeling trapped, and noise, and all sorts of air pollution. Now this might not sound like a big deal, However, when you gotta be on your toes, like in prime form with a rigorous schedule, your environment is key to supporting you or it will deplete you. So this is the fourth pillar in the Mojo system, your oasis. And if I was concerned about being a good girl or following instructions, I would have stayed in that room, bit the bullet and been pretty freaking miserable actually. But that's not the way a sensually empowered, mojo-licious woman rolls. So instead, I chose to do something about the situation and called the front desk. And within minutes, they had me in a lovely room on the other side of the hotel with, get this, a view of the gorgeous mountains, better light, and no construction wall up my ass, okay? Now I'm sharing this with you because it's one of life's little reminders about flexing your, hey, I'm worth it muscles and setting yourself up in, in an environment that fuels you. Both take a, a really a good heaping of mojo. So today's Mojo-licious lesson is this. Number one, ask for what you want it's rarely delivered without a request. Number two, be aware of your environment's effect short-term and long. Number three, be open to adventure each day. That's actually how we found the cutest, sexy little tea cafe for lunch once we squared away that room situation. And here's a bonus tip. When you're on the road traveling, bring a blessing crystal with you to ensure safety, protection, and success. You can keep it in your suitcase, your purse, and of course, always hang it in your hotel room. You can put it in your rental car, boat, or wherever your adventures take you. This is the one I take with me on the road, and here it is in my room at the Marriott on that Salt Lake City trip. Now it's your turn. What do you take on the road to keep your mojo flowing? Leave a comment below and make sure to share this video with all the women you love. Because when you connect to your mojo and the tools to cultivate it, well, you are, as I like to say, totally mojolicious. And to get great free tips on your mojo tools and more importantly, how to put them into action, Make sure you get your cute butt over to deborah kagancom and access your complimentary gift from me. I am on a mission to see every woman rock her mojo. So until next time, ladies, get out there and go knock them alive. Got my mojo.